everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. When last we left off, we were on up high in a tree in Lothlorien. We had just gone for a walk with Legolas and Gimli to to gaze upon the beauty of the forest of Lothlorien when we were attacked by multiple parties of orcs. And after fighting them off, we ran into Bozy here, who had made his way to the bounds of the forest himself. Um, we were all granted a audience with Celeborn and the Lady Galadriel herself, at which point Celeborn has agreed, because of the orc incursions, uh, he has agreed to honor the ancient friendship between the elves and the dwarves and send a party of elves into Moria to help with the battle against Mazog. And during the conversation, uh, the Lady Caladriel was sending messages telepathically into our mind about how our work was not quite done here yet. So we came back to the Chamber of Crossroads to talk to Bozy once more here in Chapter 4, Tenth Alliance, and find out what is going on in Moria since we left. These are my first dealings with Celeborn of Lorien. I do not know what to make of him. Welcome back to Casa Doom, Narlo. I am disappointed that Gimli did not return with you, but I am sure he had his own reasons. His father Gloin has long been a close friend of my father and Broger's father, and Gimli surely retains the honor of his forebears. This is my first dealing with Celeborn of Lothlorien, and I must confess I am not sure what to make of him. He has sent a number of elves to help us, and while I appreciate the assistance, they seem perhaps too eager to blame the dwarves for all troubles, both present and past. They have established a camp with one of my dwarves, Olvar Bellhammer, in a newly excavated passage off Durin's Way, Bazungar. It is located in the very southeastern corner of Tarak Bazan, in the southern wall right near the exit from these gardens. You will find Tarak Bazan to the northeast of this chamber. Yes, the tree-filled area on your map there. Journey there and lend Orvar your aid. He is having difficulties getting along with these elves. All right, talk to Ovar. So we are going to a newly excavated passage, a newly excavated camp in the very southwestern corner of Tharak Bazan. So let's take a look at the map. I'm sure we will pull up these instructions again. But basically, we're going to leave the uh, 21st. We're going to leave the Chamber of the Crossroads here. Sorry, travel up here to to uh, the forested uh, garden area, Tarak Bazan, and see if we can find this newly excavated area. Don't see it on any of the flags we found so far. So we will travel on up there and see what we can see. And I'm sure that we will have to stop for directions along the way as well. We will turn this into a travel log, as we have not actually taken this path that we are about to take. We are going to go out to the right here as if we were going to the Dolmen View, but instead of hanging a left and going back over there to the Dolmen View and all, we are going to hang a right and go up this way. So this will be our first travel up in this particular direction. Hope everyone's having a good one. Has had a good week since the last time I was on. It has been a good if busy one for me. Work has been insane. I don't think there's any other any other kind of day we have at the hospital anymore. Other than just insane. That's a good way to describe it. Okay, we need to continue up this hall. All right, there we are. We are going to continue on up until we get to the eastern road, which stretches on out this way toward the stone hall. And uh, 
I know it's a day late, but to any of my Persian friends or Turkish friends or anyone else out there who may celebrate Eid in Nehruz, uh, Nehruz Mubarak, Happy New Year to you. My wife is Persian, and I know in the Persian calendar it is now the year 1395. And uh, we had a very, very wonderful day yesterday. Wish we could have been with her family. That would have made it just perfect, but I'm afraid they are a uh, uh, ways away from us. But many phone calls were made, and we had a hop scene and had a wonderful time. Okay, let us continue on this way. Glad everything around in these areas is still quite gray to us. So I think we continue up this way. And yeah, it looks like we're in the main passage now. Yep, here's Duran's Crossing. We've been here before. And yes, there we go. It's opening up into the the uh, bright daylit areas of the the wonderful garden room here in Moria. Coming in from this side, the western edge. This side. All right, the Rak Bazan, which is right here. Now this time, let us look at the instructions again. Passage located in the southern wall of Tharak Bazan's southeastern corner. Okay. So, southeastern corner, it should be over in that direction. So, we will continue around this way. Try to see if we can find the southeastern corner. Beautiful waterfalls and all. See if we can find this newly excavated outpost. They haven't hidden it that well. I don't think it's going to be buried in a corner behind trees, perhaps. There we go, back off in here. It in a corner, but not exactly buried and hidden, perhaps. I think that's it there, maybe? Let us travel on within and see what we find. Yep, there's an ore bar. Newly excavated, well, I wonder if that means they just recently dug it out or recently, recently, uh, opened it up again because there's an awful lot of stuff grown here for a, a recent oh that looks like some mother-in-law's tongue there wow in fact all these plants are oversized it looks like we're living inside the uh, inside the artificial plastic flowers at the bottom of an aquarium here doesn't it all right let's come over here let's talk to orvar see what he has this to cavern say. was recently unearthed and the gardens here still thrive. Ah, uh, so he answered our question. I'm glad. I'm very happy when the NPCs do that. Recently unearthed again. I'm glad you're here, Narlo. These elves have been sent by Kelleborn for the purpose of helping us drive the evil out of Khazad-dûm. So they say. But they seem much more interested in casting blame about than doing anything helpful. This cavern, Bazungar, was found shortly after you departed, and many of my folk were impressed by the state of it. The gardens still thrive, at least up here they do. Something rots and corrupts the plant life as you descend. But while we could use some real help in clearing the cave of danger, instead these elves speak often of digging too deeply and disturbing things best left undisturbed. If this is the best Celeborn has to offer, I'd rather he kept them in the woods. You talk to Coronthiel, Gnarlo, and see if I'm wrong. You'll soon see I am not. So, Coronthiel. 
Some evil lives at the bottom of Busungar, and it corrupts the gardens here. Hello, nurse. You don't like it when people dig too deeply, do you? Let's see what you have to say. Listen to me, Narlo, for this Orvar will not listen to reason. Some evil lives at the bottom of this cavern, and if this place is not sealed away, the evil may spread. This is always the way of dwarves. Why must they always dig into places they were not meant to go? Will they not be satisfied until no evil remains beneath the stone, and all have come to the surface to lay waste to the homes of the elves and other good people? What has drawn the Globsnogger to this cavern? Chapter 5, The Wilting Rot If Orvar would not listen to reason and collapse the only entrance to this passage, sealing the corruption within, we must find its source and destroy it. Speak to Nymphleg about finding this source and dealing with it. We have seen Globsnogger orcs deeper within Bazungar and fear that they will soon climb up to this place. Had they been corrupted by the wilting rot, or is there some other cause of their affliction? These questions are secondary to the most important matter, Narlo, that they be defeated before they can do us any harm. Destroy them as you undertake Nymphaleg's scheme for cleansing the source of the wilting rot. So here are our objectives. Defeat the Globsnogger warriors, four of them. Defeat the Globsnogger sir skirmishers, three of them and execute Nymphaleg's plan to destroy the source of the Wilting Rot. All right, y'all remember the Globsnaga, the orcs and all, who have been, who have been uh, corrupted by the fungus and have those horrible things growing off of them. Let's talk to Nymphaleg now. The rot that pervades Buzungar is not of the natural world. Chapter five, Source of the Rot. The rot that pervades the lower reaches of Bazungazar, Bazungar is not of the natural world, Narlo, and that gives us the duty of removing it. If Orvar will not listen to our advice and seal the passage, we must destroy the source of the wilting rot before it escapes into wider Moria and becomes a much greater threat. I believe I have the means to do this, Narlo. This barrel will catch pure light even if it's most dim and reflected upon the corrupted walls of the passage. If you place it on a stone in the deepest area of the Zungar, it will soon be like a beacon to the evil of the rot, drawing forth whatever lies behind the wilting rot in agony. At that time, you must destroy the source of the rot, but use caution. You must remain close to the barrel, or its effects will not serve to weaken the master of the rot, whatever it may be. So we're going to use a barrel, and we are going to draw forth and defeat the source of the rot. Okay. So, it's going to be time to go down this way. We've collected the glimmering barrel. I'm assuming it will be in our inventory here. I heard it'll be one of those things you see where it says... You are at the location for the barrel. Please place it, and it'll be something we'll need to right-click on. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we've got two routes out of here, it would seem. Let's take this one for the moment. Whoa! Completed. Quick wrist. Oh, we're finishing another, another one of our... Uh, burglar trait things there. Alright. Defeated one warrior. Let's uh, sneak up this time and try to go about this properly. I don't think that stealth will hurt us this time either as it's not actually an instance. It's more actually a just a battle down through the kind of open dungeon here. Actually curious with that being the cave entrance back there. I'm wondering if uh, you have to actually reach that particular part of the story before you can uh, get into the cave. Oh, come on. 
wait for stealth since we were still within the fungus cloud there. Get weakness. Let us distract him. And then take him off. Yeah, they go down a lot nicer whenever you actually are, uh... Actually are using your burglar skills the way that you should. Yeah, it's quite a beautiful place down here. But as I said, it does, it does remind me a lot of uh, being a fish in an aquarium. before it exploded and spread its filth all over us. Now, does this continue downward or is this a dead end of some sort? Nope, looks like that's going to continue back to the surface. But we have another skirmisher we can take on. that one caught us though. Alright, we've got our three skirmishers. We need to defeat two more warriors. And we've reached a dead end here. Alright. We need to defeat two more warriors. There must be a passage up there that drops down or something. And then find the source of the rotten corruption. Now let us continue looking for places. That might lead us further down into the cave. There we go. So we are looking for warriors this time. This one's going down. That's always... Whoa! Didn't mean for it to go down that, that quickly. Alright. Let's... Watch that first step there. It's a doozy. Alright, got him before he started uh, into his explosion cycle. That's nasty. Now we're getting into the rot. See, the corruption here now. I think we've chosen the right path this time. Is it nighttime? I believe it is. There we go. That'll help. Turn our light on. It's either nighttime, either become nighttime. Well, I guess it would have to be, have become nighttime because we're not in an instant, so. take on this last warrior and then we can continue on down in peace hopefully excellent okay let us stealth up and see if we can continue down to find the source of the corruption without having to fight our way through any more of these creatures. This looks promising. Nice big empty cave with uh, giant trees and roots within the middle of it. That looks very promising. 
We wouldn't cross through here. Let's be careful not to step over the side. I don't think that would be a very pleasant fall, even if it was down into into the magical... Yep, there's a flashing stone. We have about reached where we're supposed to go. Flat mossy stone, and there's Gwarun... Grawun the Kerog. So we have found another Kerog. You see where we are down here? In the middle of this immense cavern. I believe the Kerogs, aren't those the... Uh, those are the, the minor Balrog type things, I believe. Let's put the stone, probably here on the flat mossy stone. And then get ready to fight that critter. A level 60? Um, ancient Evil Signature. And he is also one of the nameless. And, uh, he's got a pretty impressive name for something that doesn't have a name. Let's take him on. We need to fight this, fight this next minor pseudo Balrog creature. We've already talked about, I showed y'all that picture that last time when we were actually in that instant fighting that Balrog. Or, sorry, Kerog. The uh, interpretation the guy on DeviantArt had done of the various uh, Balrogs and Morgoth. And how wonderfully diverse all their various uh, images are. Alright, collected the Glimmering Barrel. We need to go back up and talk to Nymphaleg once more. Right, let's see here. See how it slumbers. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful. All right. We're going to make our way back up and uh, go back to talking to talk to Nymphaleg. I think that way, that's the way we actually fell down. So let's see if we can find maybe a uh, route we can ever actually walk back up. And we will see see y'all when we get back up to more hospitable lands. So we will talk to you then. We have made our way back to Orvar's camp without any difficulty. The only thing being remembered that this is not an instant, so everything that we killed had respawned back behind us there. So if you can't uh, stealth up like some of us more fortunate ones can, uh, you will have to fight everything once again. Growloon the Kyrog is defeated, but others of his kind may appear. Chapter 5, Source of the Rot. We are fortunate, Narlo, that Gwaroon... Grawloon the Karog, diminished as already he was, could be weakened further by the light of the barrel used to draw him forth. No wonder will his no longer will his presence scar the gardens of Bazungar or spread out into wider Moria. I worry that more and stronger of his kind may lurk in the deep places, but there is little enough we can do if that is true. I am delighted to have helped you fight the source of this rotten Arlo. May the dwarves have learned a lesson in this. Let's see which one we're gonna have. Shoes of the Dream Flower. Boots of the Galadrim. That's actually pretty good. And boots of the golden wood. Let's see, might, resistance, vitality. I don't want to get rid of my agility and all though. Crowd control duration. None of them are really better than the uh, Explorer boots we have, so we'll go with the boots of the Golden Wood. And our burglar's tools have reached 55. Executed Nymphaleg's plan to destroy the source of the wilting rot. All right. It will be some time before these gardens recover, but recover they will. 
It will be some time before the plants and gardens within the Zungar can be restored, but your defeat of Grawulun the Kerag will make that possible where it was not before. You have done well, Narlo, and I am pleased that you have helped save the dwarves from their own hard-headed determination to delve where they should not. A dwarf of the Iron Garrison came to speak with Orvar while you were in the depths. I believe he had a message for you. Boy, they are quick to just put blame on everything, aren't they? That was no great task for you, was it? These elves worry for nothing. Well, Narlo, that was no great task, was it? Why should Koronothiel and Nymphaleg worry so greatly about sealing away Bazungar when you have so ably defeated Grorilan the Kerog? And now this passage can be of great benefit to the dwarves. Rowing has not been the same since he was returned to us. Chapter 6, Hewers of Stone. The messenger sent by Broin was very clear that we should deal first with the corruption within Mbazungar. Yet once that was done, his master desired greatly that you visit him again on the peaceful path located in the mustering hall east of Saloon Dune and west of the stone hall here along Durin's way. The entrance to the peaceful pass is northeast of Mbazungar. If you will allow me this, Narlo, I must tell you that Broin has not been the same since you returned him to us. It is no fault of his own, for he endured much in the watery den of the Watcher, curse its name. But the son of Broger may by now be a little touched in the head, and then to lose his cousin Bori to the forces of Mazog, it cannot be helped. Treat him kindly and with patience, Narlo. But if he request, he, if it, the request he makes of you seem a little peculiar, you will at least know the cause. All right. So next time it will be back to the peaceful passage, and we will go and talk to Broin and see what he has to talk to us about. What kind of strange request, as they say, he may be making of us. So there you go. I will be getting the next episode up probably Tuesday night. It's like Tuesday night. I've got a lot to do over the next 24 hours, so I don't think I'll be back in here then. But I will definitely find some time, and we will go and talk to Broin and see what has happened to him during our absence away from this place. Let's take a look right quick at the uh, messages we had pop up. Uh, legendary item leveled up. We got turbine points. We completed a deed. Which one was it? Quick wrist. Parry enemy attacks. 1,250 times we have parried an attack. Wow. And received five turbine points for that. What do we got next? Class deeds tier six. Complete cl quick wrist. Complete no time for games. And complete burglarize. Hmm, and we'll get a class trait point. We'll have to take a look and see what those are. But I don't see them here. We need to see exactly what burglarize and no time for games is. And then see if we can figure out uh, how we can maximize getting those completed. Get that all important all important uh, trait point there there you go and thank y'all for coming along i hope y'all had a good one appreciate y'all's uh company on my path here and we will see you next time bye bye